In today's episode, let's do a quick walkthrough of my terrace garden and simultaneously identify and learn some common house plant with names. Coming up. Well, this is my terrace garden overview in the month of August this year. Let us begin with the queen of flowers, the rose. These are the beautiful fragrant desi roses or the Indian rose. Pollinator insects like honeybees are very much attracted by these roses. You can also see the leaves are nicely eaten by the leaf cutter bees. These rose trees flower enormously and we have lots of flowers to pick on a daily basis. This is our Alamanda vine with beautiful yellow flowers. These are some hibiscus plant varieties. Not flowered much this month but used to flower enormously few months back. These are again fragrant Indian rose dark pink variety. And these are hybrid English roses. This is Ixora plant. This is Plumeria. And this one is fruiting pomegranate tree. Oleander tree. Scarlet clock wine and this is bush clock wine with lots of flowers and this side is my organic vegetable garden with 50% green shade net and I grow a lot of vegetables and rotate them depending on the season of the year. I grow tomatoes, squashes, gourds, beans, radish, beetroot, chili peppers and many more veggies and even greens like cilantro, mint, fenugreek, spinach and so on. You can check my detailed episodes on topics like growing tomatoes, lentils, eggplant and many similar episodes from a playlist titled Food Gardening. You can check that from a link in description below. Well, this is another pomegranate tree and has started fruiting. This one is a guava tree, no fruits yet because it's a seed grown tree. These are citrus trees which fruit a lot throughout the year. I have another lime tree which gives a lot of fruit all around the year in this tropical climate. This one is a fig fruit tree which was grown 3 months back by air layering method from another fig tree. You can check all related episodes in description below. These are some of my hanging basket plants. This is Rio or Boat Lily, Spider Plant, this is the Green Turtle Vine. This is the purple turtle wine or creeping inch plant also called as Bolivian Jew wine. Some more spider plants with their babies or offsets. This one is burrow's tail or donkey's tail cactus or sedum morganium. Not a cactus but a succulent plant. Another Rio plant. This is the foxtail fern. This is the beautiful tangled heart plant also called Swedish ivy or pillow plant and this is also a type of succulent plant. More hanging plants, string of bananas, Boston ferns, foxtail fern and more. This one is a pineapple tree grown from scrap of pineapple fruit last year. This is a mulberry tree which gives lots of fruits. This one is a beetle leaf or pan plant grown in a pot and supported by a coir stick. This is the fig fruit tree which we air layered few months back and got great results. You can check that episode from a card link to this video or from description below. This is a grafted chiku tree grown in a 20 inch container. This one is the Norfolk Island pine tree now about nearly 10 feet tall. This was very small few years ago. This is Aralia non-variegated, Song of India tree, insulin plant, rain lily which flowers a lot in rainy season, Schefflera or umbrella tree variegated and non-variegated varieties, more rain lilies not flowering at present, Hydrangea now started growing again after hard pruning some time back. Citronella which repels mosquitoes. This is Pedilanthus or Devil's Backbone Variegated. 
This one is football lily which flowers twice in a year and gives a beautiful football shaped flowers. All these are Amaryllis lily plants which flower once or twice in a year with different colors of blooms. These are more chlorophytums. This is the ponytail fern. I have a couple of them. More spider plants, anthurium, caladiums, ficus starlight, peperomias, variegated as well as non-variegated ones. This is a huge fairy castle cactus. Resembles a fairy tale castle. This is huge. This is the pencil cactus plant, which was so small few years back. I have two large ones, one in each corner. These are Dracaena marginatas, that is dragon trees. Then Aurelia variegated variety. Another boat lily. Another anthurium. Copper leaf plants or A. califa wilkesiana. These are multiple small pots making the vertical garden. Most of them are turtle wine plants. This is a jade plant. This is another Crassula oveta. This is Gerbera daisy. I have dark pink and orange varieties. Some aloe veras, succulents, and cacti. Sansevieria or snake plant varieties, lots of Havertias, Havertia zebrina and plain Havertias, then donut cactus which flowers once in a while, fishbone cactus, some more Havertias and cacti, Aeonium succulents, then sedum adolfi or the golden sedum, Gasteria succulent. Calancho varieties, Aeoniums, then Pencil Cactus. Money plants or Pothos varieties on long coir sticks. Fishbone Cactus, English Ivy Plain and Variegated. Lemongrass and jade plant in the center. This is the Monstera plant. This is our large Ficus benjamina or weeping fig grown in containers. I have two of these. Diefenbachias. A large aloe vera which flowers once or twice in a year. Diefenbachias and some multiple plant cuttings. Colorful coleus, plumeria or champa varieties. This is called open shea cactus, actually a succulent. These are all my adeniums or desert roses, lots of them and they flower a lot during the spring season and produce lots of seed pods. This is black echeveria with flowering, custard apple tree which produces delicious fruits twice in a year. This is lime tree which produces loads of fruits all around the year. Then this is the bushy henna or mehndi plant. This is the result after hard pruning. I have some more plants in my ground garden as well. We'll make an overview of it in some other episode. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback. Happy gardening!